You also had heavy metal toxicity. Yeah. Where do you think that came from? So this is a good conversation to have because definitely there are a lot of heavy metals in implants. So, Interesting. Uh huh. And so I'm sure that some of it came from that. Why are there heavy metals in implants? That's so great. Cool. Great question. I, 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 I mean, no how idea. silicone made though? It's you know, it's just all synthetic stuff that I don't know. I mean, wow. I really. I mean, if you look in like, if you look at any any social account or website to show the ingredients. It's a laundry list of different metals and various uh, other things. So I guess they're, they're not just... Heavy metal toxicity is yeah, very common. Some, okay. Very common with implants. But on top of that, because I can't quite identify it, we've got this little subset idea of like, oh, I race cars. That's kind of a metal -y environment. It what is. could have come from that? Yeah. But ha mercury was what was highest for me. So um, I was high in five different metals. If I remember them, cesium, thallium, probably from kale. It could have um, been. Mm -hmm, it could have been. Because they told me thallium uh, has been on the rise. My first functional doctor, she said thallium levels are up in so many different people because um, kale pulls it from the soil. <laughs> So if you eat kale, like think about it. If you're, if you, you get breast implants, you probably want to look good. You probably want to look good, so you eat kale and thallium tex to toxicity. So, so cesium, I don't know what that comes from. Thallium, I know one of the big culprits can be kale. Um, I had um, uh, lead. Lead can be very hereditary. So my, I'm, I know my mom or has not had her metals tested, but. It could be hereditary. Oh. It's a it, that's where it comes from a lot of times, um, and then I can't remember the other one. Mercury. But, well, mercury is arsenic? the highest. I don't know. I don't. I did not have arsenic. I don't think. I got to remember. I'd have to look back to see the five. But mercury was the highest. So above a five, is like you're in the category that you are. Right. You're in the danger zone. Right. Mine was 170. It was astronomical astronomical. So the first thing I thought was, oh, Mark Hyman. Mark Hyman got into functional medicine because he had heavy metal toxicity. So I was like, hi, <laughs> we did that interview and I have this level and whatever. And so he said, just quit eating seafood for six months. You'll be fine. I was like, okay. So that's what I did. I just, I, but on top of that now is a little bit of like a twist is that I was also trying to, um, heal my gut and I could only have like scallops, cod, halibut, I think that was about it I that was on the clear list. Too, yeah. Like a medium was like turkey and chicken. So I ate a lot more chicken back in those days. Um, but like, so now I'm like, fish is the only thing that my gut's supposed to be. So I'm like a, I, can I swear? I'm yeah, a yeah, mess. I'm a, I'm a fucking mess. You can like, swear I'm spot. a fucking mess. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm just like so much stress. Like, what do I eat? I tried, and I, and I do things too, as well as I can possibly do them. So anyway, so um, I say that, but also, uh, I, you're going to just be like, that was it, Danica. I felt really bad for the poor animals for a while. Okay. I, this is probably around that 2018 time. Oh gosh. What was that one doc that came out? I watched at the end of 17 and it made me go, oh shoot. What was the one documentary? It came out at the end of 17. It was showing like how athletes were getting like erectile dysfunction. Oh yeah, from, game like, changers. Game changers. Oh, and God. I was like, <laughs> oh shit. I was like, now I was like really rocking my meat eating world. And I knew intuitively my body loved high fat meat. Like I loved having like rich, short rib, like steak, like all the fatty, like I knew it, like my body's like, thank you. And so, but I felt bad. And then I put myself through the paces of watching on social media, slaughter stuff happening. Okay. So <laughs> then I started eating just egg, just egg. Uh -huh. And then I started eating a lot more protein powder, plant protein, like plant-based protein powders, mm -hmm. which are definitely contaminated with heavy metals. Mm, fun. We know that. Oh, fun. I'll yeah. just throw those away in the Damn. You told me the other day you had a plant we'll protein. We'll go assess or... my kitchen. <laughs> you want me to? This. We'll do it. <laughs> you already want to throw my spinach and arugula I did. away. I'm like, these are the last two vegetables. <laughs> Come on. Oxalates. Um... <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, and then, um, and so, uh, so, so, my, so I was totally 
not having as much. And then I'm adding in some beans. I'm trying like tofu and like then there's, and I know there's tons of soy in tofu with estrogens and it's a hormone disruptor. I mean, beans don't agree with me. And I'm like, maybe I just got to do it for longer. <laughs> I'll try anything. It's there. And so I was trying so hard. And so I would basically not have any animal protein until, and eggs. I've always known eggs on all my blood tests for food sensitivities. Eggs have always been through the roof on sensitivity for me. Just the so, whites or the yolks and both, the whites? Both. Interesting. Both. Okay. Um, whites the most, but it's extremely high. Like whenever that anything's high, it's extremely high. Uh -huh. And so now eggs are out too. And I'm so just, it's hard. Like, I don't know what the hell to eat. And so I would just have a little bit of fish at night and I would have salmon or sea bass or halibut or something and swordfish. Okay. And mercury. I didn't love tuna, but swordfish definitely has a lot of mercury. Um, and so, uh, so that was happening from like 18, 19, 20 kind of time. Uh, I didn't have very much other than fish for those years. So I think between the implants, possibly my environment for some of the metals, and then, um, and then the uh, fish only pretty much, I totally was down the dumps with my heavy metals. Oh man, I'm glad that you talked to Mark. I really appreciate all the work he's done. And yeah. We said this on your podcast. It's just, we have to be honest with the fact that like Mark recommends a pegan diet. So like- I know. He recommends this pesco vegetarian diet to people. And I just, I don't know how humans eat. I don't know how humans can be healthy. It's just tragic because I like fish too. I mean, I used to love sushi. I didn't realize that most sushi was farm raised. I, I love scallops. I love lobster. I love really good king salmon and I don't eat fish anymore. I've talked about this on my social media because of all sorts of contaminants now, heavy metals, even in the, even in the lowest mercury fish, like salmon, I see it, I saw it in my clients when I was working with them, their mercury would go up. And then if you're eating sea bass and halibut or snapper or sword I mean, fish, I caught like, a 51 pound halibut. I'm sure there's a lot in there. The bigger the fish, the more mercury. Halibut is really high in mercury and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. But I think people like fish because they think the omega-3s are so good for them. And I think there's plenty of ways for humans to get omega-3 without eating fish. You can get it from butter, you can get it from animal fat, like the actual fat in steaks has omega-3, you can get it from egg yolks if you're not sensitive. And then I think a lot of women end up eating fish because they think it's gonna help them be skinny or something. Yes. That, like, well, the first thing fear. that, well, first thing, I mean, like I said, when you, I was like working out more, eating less, and the quickest way to eat less or less calories is essentially what you're trying to accomplish. The quickest way to cut calories down is to take fat out because there's nine calories per yeah. gram versus carbohydrates and protein are four. Yeah. So you, you know, and skip the peanut butter or nut butter on something. You, you know, go for chicken instead of steak. Like there's a, a bunch of those kinds of decisions that are made to cut calories down. And all that happened is I kept feeling worse. Like I truly did. I, I knew it. And I, I was fully like, I feel better on fat, but like if I'm trying to reduce calories and then I'm dealing with all these other things, like I'm gaining weight and things. Like, and then, so I'm just like, I'm not, we just don't have, I just didn't have enough information yet. 